Good afternoon guys, Firebolt Prime here with update number 4 on intense cyclone Inawo, which is 200 miles off the coast of Madagascar. Red alerts are in effect for the northern part of Madagascar with cyclone conditions expected within the next 12 hours. Currently, the, the winds measured in the storm are are either 145 according to the JTWC or 165 according to Force 13. Me, I would just average it out and say it's 155. So almost being almost at being a cat fight, almost being a cat fight at this point. So let's take a look at how the storm has been looking over the past few hours. This is the storm at the moment, which definitely has a good spiral banding structure with the spiral bands affecting Madagascar at the moment right now. And a pretty organized eye. The eye has poked out a few, a few hours ago when I wasn't uh, tracking the storm. This storm has definitely strengthened from what I've seen yesterday, going from a catch on the Sapphire Simpson Hurricane Wind Scale to a Category 4 on the verge of being a category 5. Some sources say it's already a category 5. From the looks of things, landfall is imminent. And if it views to the south, the strength, it might actually be a category 5 by landfall. Looking towards midnight tonight. I think by around midnight where I am, we'll, we'll already be making landfall. But tomorrow definitely will then turn into weekend with interaction over the rough terrain of Madagascar. Starting to move towards the south and it might possibly get moved back into the Indian Ocean fully intact. Only time will tell if it will stay a, tro a tropical storm. Also in the tropics, we have another tropical disturbance here in the South Indian Ocean. With the potential of being um, the next cyclone on the list. All I know is that it starts with a letter F, I'm not sure. And then we move towards Australia, here we have what remains of Cyclone Blanche. Which is definitely moving out the coast, but regeneration at this point is, high, is very unlikely. Now the five-day forecast here from my local viewers here in southeast Texas, especially the Houston area. No. Mm. Come on, work. Freaking. There we go. Sorry about that. It looks like it's going, it has already rained quite a lot today. But despite there being on and off showers, it honestly hasn't rained that much. I take, I retract my statement. Tomorrow is going to keep on raining with a cold front from the looks of it about to sweep through the area. Wednesday and Thursday are most likely going to be the only days where there isn't any rain before Friday and Saturday where it starts raining again. Winds right now are at 12, 13 miles an hour. Air temperature is at 7, is at 72 degrees. If you factor in the humidity, it feels warmer. It's definitely a lot of rain moving towards the north with the southern winds pulling in the moisture off the Gulf of Mexico and when it comes over land, it starts building these storm clouds that produce these short bursts of rain. Air pressure at the moment is at thousand fourteen millibars, and from the look, and from the looks of it, this is how it might progress. With by tomorrow afternoon, the cold front is going definitely going to move through the area. And this won't be with on and off bursts of showers coming off the Gulf of Mexico. This is going to be a long line of storms 
And I'll just move through the area quickly. By Wednesday, there are hardly any clouds left around here. But as the winds start to turn, start to turn more and more towards the west, the humidity is going to return. Yeah, just as I expected. Winds coming from the south once again with with the rain returning by f by by the weekend. So that's about it for update four on Nao and five day forecast for my viewers in Houston, Texas.